fucking with what even if I miss. Hey, look. See, I don't love her, I'm just smashing her. And she brown and thick like peanut butter, my dick jammed in her. And she say this dick got too much length, too much diameter. She say it be hurting, hit her cervix, I'm not damaging her. Had her on her back, I made her tap like she's a wrestler. She was getting cracked and catch back, nigga, you mad at her. As soon as I crack, I sent her back like get your cabbage. cabbage. Please don't smoke your pack, that shit is whack and smell like ass in here. If you want legit, holla ass shit, she got that bag in here. If you get a whiff and get a sniff, it smell like gas in there. If you want a zip, come bring your chips, come bring some gas. Amelia, a story time coming your way. All right, listen, man, I'm about to be talking about the littest house party that I ever went to. Now, this was last summer towards the end of August. Now, you know that girl that you see in my intro? That's my play sister. Now, we were celebrating her 20th birthday. Originally, we wasn't even supposed to have a house party. That was last minute. Now, the objective, we were supposed to go to Hearthorne Suites in Dearborn. Now, that's a hotel. We were supposed to have a party there. You know what I'm saying? We was promoting this party on Snapchat. The whole snap was lit. Like, my whole snap was looking forward toward this date, man, because we was hyped it up so much and it was this one shorty in particular now i used to go with her we used to go to school together my intention was to crack that night that's what i was gonna do i was gonna abuse that kitty that night because we always talked about doing it but we never ever got the opportunity to because life always threw a curveball at us but tonight i was about to drop my balls and that that's what i was about to do tonight so anyway, man, we pull up to the hotel. Beforehand, I went to go scoop up two of my other bros. And then that's when I met up with my other bros. Oh, that's when my second mom go in there to put it in her name. The guy talking about some, I'm sorry, you can't have large parties. We like, what? He like, yeah, you can't have large parties, no loud music. I'm like, what's the point of a hotel then? That's the purpose of a hotel, to do all that. You feel me? So my mom's come out. She like, yeah, son. Um, you know, they said we can't have it there because of loud music. And I understand her, the hotel was gonna be in her name. You know, so if anything get damaged, she was gonna have to pay that money. And I already know I was gonna be reckless tonight, so I didn't wanna do that to moms. So we in a parking lot, man, we just like, what are we gonna do? We trying to look up different hotels. Now you may be wondering, I said everybody, but where's my sister at? Now get this part. She was at work, y'all. She was at work. Who works on the day of their party, bro? And guess what time that she got off? She got off at 9 o'clock. The party started at 10. Bro, we were so pissed off at her, man. So we like, man, what are we going to do? And mom's like, hey, you know, we can have a house party at the crib. And I thought about it like, man, house party, okay. That way we can't get kicked out. We can pretty much kind of do whatever we want, but to a certain limit. But it won't be as strict as a hotel, you know what I'm saying? Because second mom's was real cool. She already know that we was hitting the tree, you know what I'm saying? Sipping the Troni Tron in the hen dog. So that's when we called my sister, because she was at work. We like, hey, yo, we about to have a house party, you know, because they won't let us book the hotel. She like, all right, cool, just do whatever you got to do. You know, we pull up to mom's house, me and my other bros. And the thing is, this was last minute, so we had to get this stuff together before 10 o'clock. So right now it's probably like 4 o'clock, so we got time. So we getting everything together. The first issue that we had was the boombox. The boombox would not play music. You cannot have a party without music. You know what I'm saying? That's basically like a library, like a bunch of group of people in the silent. That's a, that's a damn library. We trying to get this together, but it is not working. So we getting frustrated. We getting irritated. You know what I'm saying? One of my bros, he trying to get it. I tried to do it, but it didn't work. Then that's when we end up getting it finally. We like, okay, cool, cool. The first thing is X'd off the list. We got this. We still got time. We go in the basement. You know what I'm saying? Let me tell you. Now we call it the basement, the FT. You know what I'm saying? I can't say what that means because, you know, YouTube, they, they like to demonetize stuff. It was like a trail, right? We put Christmas lights that wrapped all the way around the room. And when you reach that corner, that's the blow-up mattress. And you already know what that mattress is for. Then I'm like, listen, I'm going to be using this mattress tonight. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I got a shorty that I'm cracking tonight. I'm going to abuse that kitty. I said, meow, I'm going to abuse it. Now, last and final step, we had to get the backyard together. Now, remind you, the backyard looked like it really hadn't been used. So, we had to do some serious cleaning back there. You know, it was leaves everywhere. We had to rake that up. We didn't have any chairs, bro. So, that was another problem. We like, dog, where are we going to get chairs from? So, we calling my sister. She not answering. We like, bro, why would she have to go to work? 
And the fact that she got off at 9 o'clock was pissing us off like a urinal. So we had no chairs. We had a table, but we had no chairs. You know what I'm saying? The people wasn't going to stand up. I wasn't going to be standing up because I was going to be drunk. So I needed to sit down. And we called my sister. She like, yeah, my neighbor got some chairs that we can use. We're going to be good. I'm like, all right, cool. By now, it's probably like 8 o'clock. So we got an hour to go get my sis. And we had another problem. We had another problem. You want to guess what it is? We didn't have any money for no liquor, bro. We did not have no money for no liquor. Well, we had money, but we didn't have enough because we all pitched in. But, you know what I'm saying? We like, dang, we need more bottles. We need more bottles. We need more Tron and we need more hen dog. That's what we need. So we ain't even have enough for that. So we called my sister. We like, yo, we ain't got enough for liquor. And then the phone was cutting off. We like, dog. By this time, you know what I'm saying, it's slowly and slowly getting close to 9 o'clock, right? So everybody is mad, everybody is on edge. Another thing, we forgot, the backyard is going to get dark, we have no lights. So we end up getting that together, but we still didn't have enough for no lick, right? So, it was about that time, it was about to be 9 o'clock, you know what I'm saying, and we called my sis, we like, where you at? She like, I'm still at work, you know, I'm about to get ready to get off. We like, okay, we about to come scoop you, go pick her up. And then we all in the car stacked up like blocks, because it's a gang of us. We pull up to uh, the crib, and we showed her everything that we did. She was amazed that we got this done in such short little time. We just chilling until the time comes. Now, one of my bros, he ended up leaving because he had to go change, you know what I'm saying, throwing something crispy, I understand. So we was all in the backyard, you know, we just chilling, we just cooling, we just freestyling, we just listening to music. I'm going to go ahead and play that clip right here. All right, man, you see that we were just freestyling. We were just pretty much going crazy. That's what my bro, he had came with an A for that mother earth. You know what I'm saying? That, that oh, way. So we all in the back just twisting. And that had to be like 15 blizzies. So I already know I was about to get tore up like construction paper this night. I already knew I was going to be done, man. That's when my sis, she ended up getting in the shower because it was getting close to that time. It was like 945, 950-ish. So she hop in the shower or whatever. She getting ready. Um, we still in the back, you know what I'm saying, just twisting up the mother earth and just getting everything prepared. We still had a problem. We still ain't had no lick. So we confronted my sis. We like, hey, yo, look, we ain't got no lick. She like, look, I got it covered. You know what I'm saying? I got some extra cheese so we can go ahead and go up there. We went up to the store and then that's when we got this big bottle of Patron. Uh, we got a couple bottles in that Henny. We got a smaller bottle of Patron, and you know what I'm saying? We got some Amsterdam for the Thoughts. You know Thoughts love Amsterdam. They chug Amsterdam like water. You know, they don't they don't care. As long as they'll get you drunk, they'll drink it. Hell, they don't care if you got WD-40. They're going to drink it if it guarantees a buzz. So anyway, man, we walk back to the crib, and everything is set. Everything is cool. So we got uh, Patron, we got Henny, and we got the Mother Earth twisted up. You know what I'm saying? By this point, we just in the backyard. We just chilling. We just waiting for guests to arrive. You know what I'm saying? They start playing that meat meal glow up. And you know what I'm saying? I had to pull me a cup. Because I love listening to me. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm sipping my throne on the stairs. I'm doing my thing. I'm just sipping. I'm sipping. I'm sipping. I ain't take a shot. I just had like a big cup. You know what I'm saying? And I was just sipping from that. You know, I was off that throne. That pat line. Man, I think it was probably like 30, 45 minutes later, man. I'm starting to feel this pat line hit me heavy. You know what I'm saying? I'm starting to feel it. You know, and then that's when my bro started getting me on this snap or whatever. And then the shorty that um that I was supposed to be cracking that night, she ended up uh she ended up texting my bro. Not texting him, but uh hitting him up on Snapchat. She like, yeah, okay, I see him, I see him, I'm ready to twerk. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking like you should be ready to twerk on this meat pole. That's what you should be ready to twerk on. And then that's when they start uh, lighting the Mother Earth or whatever. You feel me? They put it in rotation. You know what I'm saying? I jumped in the rotator. You know what I'm saying? Hitting it. Choking. You know what I'm saying? Choking. Dying. You know what I'm saying? That Mother Earth hit me so hard, I need a CPR. Hit me with the Heimlich. How strong that lie was. And I'm feeling good. I'm feeling sedated. I'm feeling medicated. You know, that's when gas started to show up. You know, it was a couple females there, but they really wasn't baddies. You know what I'm saying? They was pretty much appetizers. Pretty much appetizers for my main entree. You know, I was social saying what's up to everybody. And then at this moment, dog, I think I had another cup of Pat Ron. At this moment, I'm twisted, man. My head is twisted like cornrows. I'm done. So I hop up on the chair, you feel me? And I start hitting the blade dance. Boy, boss up and get... If you from Detroit, you know exactly what the blade dance is. And then, all of a sudden, I hear a real soft voice. Hey, everybody. I knew that voice. I knew it sounded familiar. I instantly got horny because I knew exactly who it was. 
So I turns around, you know what I'm saying? It's the shorty that I'm supposed to be cracking that night. And then I walk up and I hug her. I had on that Gucci Guilty cologne. And I was going to be guilty of abusing that kitty tonight. That's what I was going to be guilty of. I give her a hug. I whisper in her ear. I'm like, you getting this work like you unemployed. She like, boy, whatever. You know what I'm saying? She trying to play that role, trying to play it crazy. But Mother Earth start going to rotation or whatever. And then suddenly I feel myself getting high. I feel myself getting drunk. And I'm done. Not only that, I feel myself getting fatigued. Because let me remind you, we spent all day trying to get this party together. So I'm just sitting in the chair. I'm slumped. When the party starts to die down, it's just me, the girl that I was supposed to be cracking, um, another girl, and a few of my other bros, you feel me, and some more girls. And shorty that I was supposed to be cracking, she sit on my lap, and they start playing freaking music, and she start grinding. She started grinding on me. I'm like, at this point, I'm about to just slide your dress over to the side and put it in, because it's like, it's like, she, she was taunting me in a way. But the thing is, I was just sitting there because I was just so tired. I was just so tired. I was so drunk. I was so blow. I was like, I just got hit with a tranquilizer, so I was done. And one of my bros told this girl to come here. The girl who I was supposed to be cracking and that girl that he told to come here, they was best friends. So, and you know how girls like to be with each other. You know what I'm saying? They like to follow each other. And she like, yeah, I can't leave my best friend nowhere. And I pulled her. I'm like, you know what I'm saying? Like, my man's do his thing. And I proceeded to do my thing. I pulled her up to the front. You know what I'm saying? I was on the back of the whip, um, and I grabbed her. I grabbed her, you know what I'm saying? Grabbed her on the butt, started squeezing it, and I straight up asked her. I'm like, do you want to... No, I ain't going to say it. Like I said, they like to demonetize videos. I said, would you like to engage in some coitus? And she like, I've been wanting to do this. I was about to throw her on the back of the car and just pound her out right there. Right? So I'm like, all right, cool. Let's get in the whip. She like, no, you can be registered as a sex offender if you do that. I'm like, what? I'm like, all right, shorty, all right, cool. So she started walking towards the back or whatever, open up the side door. And I don't know if y'all houses is like this, but a lot of houses is like when you walk in the back door, the stairs is right down there, like the downstairs. You feel me? So she stopped right there. She stopped right there. She was, like I said, this girl been taunting me all night. So I was definitely about to, I was about to annihilate her. You should have saw the look that she gave me, y'all. She like this. She looked at me like this. She ain't even say nothing. She like this. And looked at the stairs like, like, come on, you ain't bought it. I'm like, I'm looking like, what? Who you trying to underestimate like that, shorty? Get downstairs. I sit on the blow up mattress. She sit down next to me. You know how it is in the movies, like the dude sit down and the girl sit down like, so where do we start? I don't got time for all that. I'm horny. She like, how should we start? By this time, this Patron is kicking in. You know what I'm saying? My hormones is going crazy. So I pull her up. I pull her up. I'm like, shit, don't think about it. I'm like, don't think about it. And I drag her straight down. Feel me? She get on top of me. She start kissing on my neck. Start kissing all on my neck. I love my neck kiss. I love my neck kiss. And then all of a sudden, man, I had this fatigue moment again. I kept getting these fatigue episodes all night. I kept getting fatigued. So anyway, man, you know I'm starting to get tired or whatever. And then that's when I noticed that my soldier is not getting up. It's not saying what up though. Cause I'm so tired. She like, man, you 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 sure you wanna do it? I'm like, yeah, I do. I'm just a little tired. She like, okay, I got something for that. Y'all know what she did. Y'all know exactly what she did. She get she gave my man's a tongue bath. She gave him a tongue bath. She wet him up. That's what she did. She super salty. You know what I'm saying? She went nuts, literally. On them nut nuts. And then that's when I flipped her over on the back. She like, okay, cool. You know what I'm saying? It's your turn to put in some work. I went in, put them legs behind that head. I went crazy. And then while I was while it was still in, I flipped her. You know what I'm saying? Arched the back up. Bow, bow, bow. And I went crazy. And then when she got done, you know, from being on top, you feel me? She like and lay it down on the mattress. She talking about some, she tired. She ready to go home. I'm like, you tired? I'm like, let me get a water from upstairs and let's do round two. Um, and then after that, you know, I just walked her out. I'm like, call me when you get to the crib. That's pretty much the end of this video. Like I said, the litest house party ever. Would I do it again? Find out this summer. Go!